up, guys? Um, here, gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do the valve cover, um, repaint it. Probably do a wrinkled, wrinkled red. So, show you guys a little how to. All right, guys, we're back. I let it sit for probably five, ten minutes. You can see it's already bubbling up. We're going to try and uh, wash it off, see how far we get. Use the parts washer. A little bit of mineral spirits should do the trick. Well, just finished stripping the paint off of the valve cover and it come out pretty good. A little paint down in there, but what are you going to do? Oh, the, the new paint will cover it. Thinking about painting it or maybe polishing it. What do you guys think? Uh, right now, I just have to drill the holes for my AN fitting so I can put the catch can. I'm going to be... Um, Welding them, I think, right here and here. So when I go boost it, I'll uh, get all that uh, crankcase pressure out of there. So I'm just going to drill two holes, weld them on, and we'll go from there. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, I just got done drilling these two holes. I uh, used this stepper bit. You can get that Harbor Freight or something and get ready to weld these uh, hand fittings on using the TIG welder. Um, so I'll try to get some footage. I don't know how it'll turn out, but yep, there you go.
See, I got the AN fittings on there ready to go for the stainless steel lines. Uh, I went ahead and put new spark plugs in, spark plug wires while I was at it. But the wrinkle finish is pretty good. And I got these uh, hardware kit off of eBay. Uh, they're VMS. Um, probably put the link in the description. These are also off eBay and fittings. Uh, show you guys. So it's just a fitting. And then the hole I drilled and welded. Uh, come out pretty good. Uh, I went ahead and painted the block. Degreased it, painted it. And then I also added um, extended um, exhaust studs and a brand new OEM gasket so you shouldn't have a problem. I know if people have had uh, problems with the, like, the paper gaskets so I went with the OEM one. And then I went ahead and got the trans mounted, painted the mounts, uh, trans and clutches on there. And then I also, the motor didn't come with the VTEC solenoid so I got that, uh, bought that off eBay used and then it came with all the plugs and got that on there also the transmission didn't have a starter on it so went ahead and got a starter um, right now I got the intake off uh, I know it's going to be a lot easier to install some of the hoses and motor mounts uh, when I go to drop it into the hatch and so I'm going to leave that off and probably clean it up uh, the sensor here is needs to be replaced and then uh, probably just clean a couple things up uh, and then we should be good to install it also I did uh, get this 1320 aluminum motor mount and then uh, I have this aluminum motor mount that came with the motor when I bought it um, the reason I went with this uh, motor mount uh, was because motor when I bought it it didn't have one they're usually steel and so I just went ahead and ordered that off eBay it was like 20 bucks more than a OEM one so yep here's a look at the motor right now I did get some parts in so there be some uh, install videos on that stuff uh, so stay tuned Alright, thanks for watching uh, the update vi video on the B18 motor. Uh, stay tuned for, uh, I'm going to be installing a timing belt and um, some other parts. So stay tuned for that and like, comment, subscribe.